What's good? We back with the Boston Clinic. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC. Shout out to the homie Trap House Boxing. Shout out to the homie, the sister, Ashley, uh, Ashley's Corner. Um, Moni Brown TV, we all working. Shout out to Get a Mike. You know, I see you out there putting that grind in. But um, we back in the building. And um, speaking on, you know, the Boston Clinic's uh, top five wishes in 2017. Don't necessarily have to be fights, but let's start it off. Um, you know, five is I hope Jamel Charlo can get Gennady Golovkin in the ring in 2018. I think that's a fight that, uh, you know, I love to see. I think he, he earned his opportunity the way he should. People say, oh, versus Sebastian Jorge Highland, that wasn't a good fight. I don't care. Um, Triple G won a WBA belt in, in Germany versus a nobody was handed to WBC and beat and beat a limited uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Let's keep it real. You know, how did he, you know, how is he above criticism, in my opinion? I'm just keeping a trail on, on that note. Um, but that's a, that's a fight that I just hope to see. Um, and I hope a lot of people, you know, a lot of people want to see that fight. Um, you know, in another one, uh, number four for me, I hope uh, that, you know, one of the champions at 126 pounds um, unify. You know, other than, you know, even though Frampton don't have a belt, uh, I hope to see some more unification belts at the featherweight division. Um you know, it may be with Russell and Valdez, Valdez and and, and, and uh, Leo Santa Cruz or some of the champions. I hope for the champions at that division to fight because it's a lot of money there. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of unfinished business there, especially with Gary Russell, Leo Santa Cruz. That's a fight I would love to see. Um, you know, in a, in a different fight, I'm tired of seeing these guys versus subpar competition and non champions. It's time for them guys to step up and do what they do best and, and prove they work. Especially Santa Cruz, especially Frampton, especially Lee Selby. He's still he in the same boat as in Santa Cruz, and I give him a pass, and I apologize for giving him a pass. It's time for him to step up in competition, you dig? Um, you know, and, and you know, I, and, that, and that's true, man. And, um, you know, and, and that's just keeping it real, you know, with the 126-pound division. Just some duck-duck gooses in there, man. A lot of them guys don't want to compete and, and show they the best. And hopefully that can change at, uh, uh, that can change in 2018, you dig? Um, you know, you know, it is what it is. And third, and third, um, I like to see some. Uh, I like to see uh, uh, some unification bouts at the 175 pound division. Um, I think it's gonna happen. I like to see Kovalev fight the winner of Barrera, Demetrius Bivol. Um, I love to see Adonis Stevenson and a Badu Jack winner mix it up with everybody else as well. Um, you know, I just love to see that division mix it up. I'm not saying that they haven't been mixing up. It's kind of it's trying to trying to find its identity after Andre Ward um, moved up and continued to you know retired and moved on, which I believe he's gonna be back. But, um, you know, it's just my opinion on that division, man. I just hopefully those guys can fight each other and hopefully Badu Jack can save the division and beat Adonis Stevenson and don't get all prima donna shown us and, and start mixing up with Kovalev. If you called out Kovalev, start mixing up with Bivol. I know people say he ducked Bivol, but at the end of the day, he, he didn't want to fight Bivol, but he turned around and he got a Adonis Stevenson fight, it looks like. So he done the right thing. Um, two, um, you know, I love to see Keith Thurman pull his uh, head out his ass and, um, you know, forget about the Sean Porter fight, unify or, or do the Sean Porter fight, fight more than three times in a year. Um, you know, and that's my opinion on that. I like to see Keith Thurman get in the mix and mix it up with Earl Spence and, and Terrence Crawford and show and prove that why, why he is top welterweight right now, why he got two belts. I think it's time for him to, you know, get the uh, warm up with Jesse Vargas out the way, which is uh, legitimately not a warm up or tune up fight. That's a real fight. For him, a tough fight coming back. And I'd love to see him jump right into the Earl Spence fight or fight Sean Porter and then jump to Earl Spence at the end of the year or Terrence Crawford. Him and Crawford been going back and words and throwing shots at each other. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. But, you know, I think the Earl Spence and, and the Keith Thurman fight is the fight that we want to see. But if he want to challenge Terrence Crawford at the end of the year, I'll take it. I just, secondly, I just basically want to see T Keith Thurman get back in the mix. Um, number one, I'm going to split it up. I'd love to see Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder finally fight and end the talk. I mean, the heavyweight division has been too stagnant, too much stagnant. It has been stagnant too much uh, for too long with the Klitschko's reigning over and just dominating everybody. Now we got some new faces that can walk and chew bubblegum, that can jab and move and have some abilities in the size to to compete. I just think it's the fight that, that boxing needs the most. Um, and um, I really do. And then my other half of my, of my number one, because I'm going to split it up, uh, fighters stop fighting one or two times a year. Let's, let's get back to fighting three, at least three times a year. 
you know, it's four quarters in a year. You should fight at least three of the four quarters. You feel me? And I know a lot of guys don't like to fight after the want to wait and get their fights in before the holidays, and they don't want to fight in the thick of the holidays. But you got to do what you got to do. And I understand that the, the purses and, and, the, and the money split and the money payment, the way they're paying them, it's good where a lot of guys can just fight once or twice a year. But the thing about it is if you're going to fight once or twice a, twice a year, we need great fights. We need the fights that the fans want to see. Because when you champions or when you, you know, thick in the middle of a thick, you know, division and you're a good contender or prospect or, or, or just a, 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 a intercontinental champion, like a regular WBA champion, we need to see you fight more. We really do. We need to see you in great fights and big fights. We don't need to see you in these mismatches one time a year, then an okay fight or a great fight in a mismatch. We want to see if you're going to fight two times a year, we need to see you fight great fights both times in the year and keep giving these, these other contenders world championship shots and big shots and making some money and making a name for themselves in the sport of boxing. So I want to see people stop. I want to see boxers get back to fight at least three times a year, three, four times a year. I'm sick of the one time of the year and the two time a year thing. It's dead. Uh, but be on the lookout. We're going to announce the, the Boston Clinic uh, Fighter of the Year later today. Uh, shout out to everybody. We gone.